Now, managing Kali Linux services. As you can see, Kali Linux is a specialized Linux distribution aimed at security professionals, and it contains several non-standard features. Okay. Now, the first thing, let's start with the SSH service or the secure shell. Now, it is most commonly used to remote access computer using a secure encrypted protocol. Okay. Now, in that case, we will use command called systemctl. Okay. Now, as we learned previously, man systemctl, as you can see, control the systemd system and service manager. Okay. So, this is to control the systemd. Now, you can read more about it. The systemd is something came for, to, for process management and all of that stuff no worry this is not our subject currently now system ctl by the way i can press tab again system ctl then start or stop or restart as you can see the status or status okay so let's start with the status ssh okay now you can see that it show us that yeah here if you can see it is inactive now to show more information i must provide the sudo now instead of typing the same command or the up arrow button no i can do sudo shift one shift one or the exclamation mark so this will show this will provide the previous command which is system status as such and before it it is sudo so sudo system ctl status as such so if i press enter you can see that yeah it show us this is the command now press again enter and of course it will need the password because this is a sudo command and yeah it showed us now and now yeah it show us it is inactive now if i type the same command okay system ctl not without sudo i mean let's start the ssh you can see that if I press that, it will ask us for authentication or the password for this to be done. So in that case, which is using the sudo. So sudo systemctl start as such here. You can see that. Yeah. Now it has worked. How to check that systemctl status as such. Yeah. You can see that here it is. It is active and seven seconds ago. Now you can see by default here we have the vendor present, okay, and we have the disabled thing here, okay. Now this means the disabled here, the vendor, which means that by default when it comes or it, when it is downloaded by default it will be disabled. Now what does disabled mean? It means that it will not work or it will not run on the startup, on the boot up, okay. So when I if I restart this Kali Linux machine, this as such will not work by default. Okay, now here disabled, this is the first disabled, okay, this is the vendor press set. Here the disabled, which means they are not the default behavior, the actual behavior, which is, will it uh, run on boot up or it will not? This is what is. So by default, it is disabled and it is disabled. So I must enable it. So when I restart Kali Linux, the as such will run on boot up. So enable like that and press enter. You can see that, yeah, it is enabled. It will start creating sim links. In Windows, it is the shortcut, which means shortcut. Don't worry, we will talk about the symbolic links and hard links, soft links, all of that stuff. Now, if I type status this time, you can see that this time it is enabled. By the way, the vendor preset, this is, this is still disabled. And this cannot be changed, by the way, because this is how it comes from the factory, just like that, okay? So the... The guys who created this as such tool, by default, they say make it disabled for more security and stuff like that. All right. But we enable it because we want it to be run over and over. Anyway. Now, again, this is not for um, a blue team. This is for red team. OK, so to be honest, we don't care. Yeah, because this is not the system we are protecting or hardening. This is our system to have attack on the systems okay so this can linux to attack systems of course not in a malicious way i mean um in a red team tactics okay but we need to understand how the bad guys think and work okay now how to make sure the ssh is enabled now you know that the ssh by default 
is using the port 22 okay the default port so i have net stat dash ntlp okay this is to show us n which means number t which means tcb because this is a tcb protocol now again if you are not familiar with tcb udb the osi model the ports number i i recommend you to read more about it okay well it is not a big deal just have a um a just high level understanding will do the job okay now l which means that the status of this is listening and p so to protocol or program show the program so or pid so you can see that yeah we have it here so here it is it is 22 and it is listening on 0 to 0 to 0 to 0 which means anywhere and the foreign address is the same the status is or the state is listening and there is no pid or whatever okay now there is another command called ss again dash ntlp and here it will show us that yeah 22 is running and it is running on anywhere 0 to 0 to 0 to 0 okay now this is for the ssh service now let's talk about http service now by default kali comes with apache or apache 2 so i will use the same command sudo systemctl status apache and the apache is 2 so you can see yeah it is inactive now how to do such a thing how to enable it and to start it as we learned previously first we need to put start like this then enable okay like this now there is a shortcut for this actually which is sudo systemcdl enable yeah as we learned but put the flag dash dash now which means it will enable it on startup and the same time it will start it so you can see that yeah it has been enabled and it will sh it should be started how to check that yes you are correct we will use the status command so here it is it is active and running this time okay now by the way if you didn't provide the sudo it will not show all the information so you can see that here i already provided the sudo so it shows us all of the thing here as you can see now if i provided that without i provided the command without sudo you can see that it will show less information as you can see so up here it show us this group c group thing and it show us this as you can see the batch http whatever but here it show us the c group without putting more information or some consider it a critical information yeah actually sometimes it is a critical okay now how to see what port it is running on by default it is the 80 so again let's run ss dash ntlp and you can see that yeah it is running on port 80 so this is what we need and what we want all right okay so far so good thanks for watching now i will provide more exercises on this kindly to solve them and if you have any question let me know